Hey y'all, happy Saturday. It is such a beautiful day. I got up and decided to start doing some Christmas decor shopping. So I drove to the next city over, they have a Kirkland's, and I came to look for some more of the um, Real Touch stems, the Norfolk Pine Real Touch. I got some last year and I knew that when this Christmas season came around that I was gonna want some more because I just love them. And I'm gonna look at the garland as well. I waited until I knew they were in stock in this store before I drove here because I didn't wanna just waste my gas. I hear they have them in World Market too. And so where I am, there is Kirkland's. Why can't I point? Kirkland's is here and World Market is right next to it. So um, that worked out for me. <laughs> So I just decided to make this video into a shop with me. Um, but I'm very specifically going into these stores looking for these stems and some garland and um, maybe a couple of ornaments. Maybe we'll see. But anyway, y'all, let's go in these stores and see what they have and enjoy this beautiful day. figured I'd show you everything that I bought. I went to a couple of different stores, but I did get my Norfolk Pine 
Real Touch stems from Kirkland. If you don't know what they are, I don't know where you've been, but I'm going to start with what I got at Kirkland's and then I'll show you the other stuff. So, all right, hold on a second. I had to turn the camera a little bit because the light was, it was a mess. But anyway, these are the stems. They look really, really green on camera, but I promise you they're not as green as they look. But even if they were, so what? Look at these. They're so gorgeous. This is one I bought. One, two, three, four, five. That's all they had was five. I had good intentions of going there and buying like eight or ten of them, but they only had five. And this is what they look like. And I have a couple from last year that I got from Kirkland's and a few I got from a floral ones because I kept hearing that these were the exact same thing, you know, down to even the length of the stem. And this is pretty long. Like, I'm excited to style with these. And they feel like somebody just clipped them and brought them inside. Look at that, so gorgeous. I cannot wait to style with these. If I only had one green stem to use at Christmas, this would be the one. I would use it in every pot, in every vessel all around my house. That's how much I love these. And they were $9.99. Like three days ago, they were on sale for $7.49 each. But that sale was off, which was fine um, because they had a friends and family weekend going on. So your entire purchase was 25% off. So I was good with that. But so, yeah, I got these stems and I didn't get the garland. I was going to get the garland, but I didn't. And now that I'm home, I'm regretting that choice because the way I styled our fireplace mantle last year, I'm going to do the exact same thing again this year because I love this so much. And, you know, layering in a garland that's this kind of green that's this beautiful. Layering that in with what I used last year, oh my gosh, that would be so lush and classy and just perfect. So I'm thinking about going back and getting that garland. I don't know why I didn't get it. I don't know, we're, we're moving on. Hold on y'all, let me take them all out at one time. They're really fragile, but I still wanna show you. All right, so I also got these really cute ornaments. You probably saw me show you this in the store. It looks like a uh, whiskey sour. That's what I decided that this is because it looks like whiskey on the rocks with a cherry in there. And it's also in just a regular like whiskey glass, like Tom Collins style. So it looks like a whiskey sour to me, but it's so stinking cute, y'all. It looks so realistic. I actually made one of these with a real glass out of resin and I loved it so much. So when I saw this, I had to get this one. And I got three ornaments. I'll show you the other two. These were $9.99 a piece as well. So I got that one. And I also got an espresso martini. Is that not the cutest thing? It's so cute. I love this thing so much. And I got this one especially for my tree because I made this drink last year in like a fall drinks video. I don't remember the name of the video, but I made an espresso martini in that video. And I thought, and it, and it looked just like this on the top. So this is really cute, y'all. And I'm buying these ornaments. Let me show you the other one and I'll tell you the story behind it. And then of course I got this mug that looks like a Stanley cup, if you're a Stanley person. I don't have a Stanley cup, but I have like nine Yetis and then my simple modern one that, um, where's that cup? Um, I almost bought a Stanley cup and I decided against it because they were so popular, just like Yetis were popular. And what was the other one? Hydro flasks. All the cups are super popular. But I just thought this ornament was super, super cute. I wish it was the color of my cup. I probably could spray paint this whole thing to match my cup. I might just do that, y'all. Let me show you my cup. 
wouldn't this ornament be even cuter if I spray painted it to match my cup? I'm spray painting y'all. It's cute like this. And I only bought it because of what it is, but I don't own this. I don't own a Stanley. And I'm not saying that I never will own one because they have some really cute ones. And there's a rose gold one that I originally had my eye on. I probably showed y'all that before. But I think I'm going to spray paint this. It's so cute. So the reason that I buy these ornaments, my tree that goes in my office every year, I buy a couple of new ornaments to go on it that are like things that I love. It's kind of like a... What is it called, y'all? A journal tree? A diary tree? Journal tree? I think it's called a journal tree. But what I've been doing for the past three or four years is buying ornaments to go on my personal tree in my office that are things that I love or things that I've tried, places I want to go, just stuff that I love. And drinks happen to be one of them. And I bought, I got three new ones today from Kirkland's. I have a couple of more that I've ordered online and they haven't come in yet, but you'll see all of those when I decorate my tree in my office. If you want to see some of the ornaments on last year's tree, you can go back and watch that video. I'll put it up in the card so you can check that out. The room is completely different and you will be wowed when you see the difference, the before and the after of those two rooms. So yeah, I got these three ornaments from Kirkland's. And then I could not leave out of there without buying myself at least one of these because it was so beautiful. Is that not the most beautiful glass? That fluting, mm. it's so gorgeous, y'all. It's so beautiful. I like that high shot. This looks so classy and I only bought one because it's just me and my husband here and he don't drink wine at all. So I only bought one. It was $9.99. I guess that's the price of the day. But I bought myself a new glass. Not only did I buy myself one new glass, I bought two. Y'all, these are fabulous. I love this so, so much. And it doesn't have to be an alcoholic beverage. I can drink lemonade in this. You know, I can drink orange juice in the morning with my scrambled eggs and bacon in this. You know, when you just want to have a few fancy things in your life, this is the way you do it. This one was $9.99 as well. Same fluting detail. It's so pretty, y'all. Imagine a table setting with these, like your holiday tablescape. Imagine these set all around the table. So beautiful. This could be a water glass for those that don't drink. These, these are gorgeous for $10 each. So that's all I got from Kirkland's. And so then I left Kirkland's and where did I go after that? I went to World Market because it was right next door. I wasn't going in there for anything particular. I just went and just kind of perused the aisles and I bought myself a pair of earrings. Really cute and dainty. You know, something really simple. They were $7.99. Got some earrings out of World Market. I got a glass of uh, glass. I got a bottle of this Moscato, I have never tried this one, but I figured I would try it. It was right with all of the Prosecco. I got Prosecco the other day, so I didn't buy any today, but I bought this Moscato to try with, um, I saw this girl on like a YouTube short. She was mixing Moscato or Prosecco with like um, an apple cider. Kind of the same way you would make, um, what's the drink we, we make in the mornings with orange juice and um, champagne? My words will not come today. Kind of along the same lines of that, but with Prosecco or Moscato. So I bought this to mix with some um, apple cider and 
see how I like it. If not, I can drink this by itself because it's probably really good. It's probably really sweet. So I'll have it really, really cold, but I bet it's really nice. Um, I don't know how much it was. I'd have to look at a receipt, but you know how much wine is in a store. It was probably, since it's a mini, it might have been $5.99, maybe, somewhere in there. And then I got some coffee by Jim Beam. I've had bourbon flavored coffee before, but it wasn't by an actual alcoholic brand. So I'm curious to see how these taste. I've never had this. I think this coffee was $16.99. You know how you go in World Market and all the coffees on that back wall back there? It was back there and there was only one left. So that made me think it must be good. So I got it to try. And um, yeah, I'll probably try it in the morning and I'll just let y'all know in another video how it is. But yeah. Or if you've had this before, then you can tell me in the comments. What do you think about it? Um, does it just have like notes or essence of bourbon? Can you really taste it? Just let me know. And it isn't coffee beans, it's ground coffee. So I don't know, we'll see. I always keep my ground coffee and coffee beans in the freezer anyway. So we'll see how good it is and how long the freshness lasts. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, that's all I got from World Market. And then I left there. And I went to go Target because what's a beautiful Saturday without a trip to Target, right? And I got in there is pajama pants because I've bought these before. I don't know where they are. I think I donated them. I might have donated them because when pajama pants fit short, like some of my pajama pants, when I wash them, they shrink. I like for my PJs to drag the floor when I'm at home. And when they don't, I donate them. And that's probably what happened. So I got a fresh pair. And these are from the brand Stars Above. They were 20 bucks. I love everything sleepwear, loungewear related from this brand. It's so soft and cozy. So I got pajama pants from Target. I got some slippers from Target from that same brand. These went viral, what, four years ago maybe, y'all? And I never had any. But when I saw that Stars Above had some at Target and I felt how soft they are, I hurry up and grabbed a pair and they were $15. So I got some new slippers. I got a kitchen towel. This is from that brand Wonder Shop. Um, I think this was $3. I think it was $3 and it's just a regular like candy striped dish towel, y'all. I just thought it was cute and Christmassy. So I got that. And I got one more thing. If I can find it. I also got a deer from the Wonder Shop. Just a plain black deer. I bought this to go on my desk at work. We'll see if it ends up staying there. It may actually go, instead of my work office, it may actually stay and go in my home office because I really like him a lot. And I bought him because I wanted those iron ones that were the Pottery Barn dupes from last year. They were at um, Aldi. That's where they were. Aldi had the dupes of the Pottery Barn black iron deer last year, and I didn't get them. I waited too long. Um, I guess I should have checked and see if Aldi brought them back again this year, but I didn't. But this guy was at Target, part of the Wonder Shop collection. It was 10 bucks. You know, they bring out the cutest things and they're always really good, reasonable prices. So I only got one. That's all I need for now because I have lots and lots of deer. I don't know why I bought him because I probably could have just used one that I already had. And then I went to Home Goods. And I went because I've been wanting a really pretty wine decanter. So I bought this one. I bought this one from Home Goods and it was only $10. Let me take it out because I'm going to style my bar cart really nicely for the holidays. We're having our um, Christmas sleep sleepover again this year. And I want the bar cart to look really nice. This is how she looks. I need the washer, but this is how she looks. And even though she was only 10 bucks, I really think I want to send her back. 
And I'll tell you why, because when I pour wine in here, I want it to last more than an evening. And normally when you see these in like high-end stores like West Elm or CB2, they come with a stopper. So I'm going to go search Amazon to see if I can find a spear-shaped cork to go in here. Um, because the ones that you order off Amazon or West Elm or wherever, they come with those. And this one did not. And even though she's pretty, she doesn't, she didn't come with a cork. So I don't know. The verdict is not back yet on whether I'm going to keep that. So, and then I got a new blanket. This thing, I need to put, stop putting it against me because I need to wash it. Um, but I got this new throw blanket from Home Goods. It's the Vera Wang brand. It's really nice. It's more like a warm charcoal, but I'm gonna throw it in the wash before I actually use it. The original packaging was torn off of it, but if you watched my last blog, I showed this in there and I think I said I didn't get it, regret not buying it or something like that. Um, you can see it in there, it was $60. It's the Vera Wang brand. I think the size of it is like 26 by 60, something like that. But I got a new blanket. This one is probably going to go on my bed with me because the one that I've been keeping on the, throwing over the edge of the um, sofa in there, I've been sleeping with it every night. And my husband will get home and, and be like, where's the blanket? Even though there's a basket full of blankets over there. Anyway, I got a new blanket that is going in the wash on the next load of laundry that I do. I also got new washcloths because we needed them really bad. Back to the bar situation. So I love drinking bourbon. I'm a whiskey girl. And I have one of those silicone rubbery things that you can fill with water to, um, the light keeps popping on back here, y'all, if y'all see that. Um, I have one of those silicone things that you can pour water in and it makes the round ice cubes, the big ball that goes in your glass. But I've been wanting some liquor stones for so long and I finally just did it. So I got these, they were $5.99 and there's two of them in here. So, Essentially what you do is wash these up really good and then pop them in the freezer. And then when you fix your drink, this is your ice. And as opposed to real ice cubes, these don't melt. They just stay cold until you pop them back in the fridge again. But wash them every time. Like when you're done with them, wash them again, pop them back in the fridge. So I got a set of these from Home Goods. This time of year, like holiday time, is when you can really fill up on your like bar accessories and stuff like that because home home goods they go all out you know when they put out bar type accessories like if you want to you have a um drink lover in your family home goods is the place because they have the glasses the wine glass charms the whiskey glasses the stoppers the bottle openers speaking of bottle openers i got a new one because my old one just stopped working. And I really think it was because it was on the charger for way too long. You know how you have to, with something that works off of a charge, you have to sometimes let the battery drain and then charge it back up. I never did that. It was always on the charger. And um, I needed a new one because the old school can't do it. I have carpal and cubital tunnel in this hand. I need something easy peasy. So I got another electric bottle opener from Home Goods. This one was $29.99. I really thought I got that $16.99 one, but I think I probably switched to this one because it's by the brand Rabbit. But regardless, I got a new bottle opener. I'm happy about that. The last two things are for my office at work. So for my door on my office at work, I needed something that I can hang over it to hang my purse, backpack, jackets, whatever. So I saw this in Home Goods and I thought, let me grab that because it was only six bucks. That's how they get you when they put that stuff right there. So I got that over the door hook rack thing to go on my office door. And I also got a desk. I already have one for my desk here at home. So I bought one to put in my 
this drawer at work, it was $9.99. All right. Is that all? I think that's all, y'all. I wanted to um also show you guys my shirt. I may have to go in the room or stand in the mirror over there and show y'all my shirt. This was like my first TikTok purchase, and I love this thing so much, but it's really big. But anyway, let me let me show you my shirt and then we'll go. All right, can you see it? You can see that. I just thought this was the coolest thing. And but it's really, really big, y'all. And it's probably a good thing when you start washing t-shirts over and over, having it be oversized from the start is probably good. I forget the shop name, but I can link it down below. I think it was $25.99, I think. $29.99, somewhere in the 20s. They had all of these R&B and rap groups of like the um, 80s and 90s. When I say 80s, I mean... MC Light I grew up on when I was in middle school. Salt and Pepper was from the 80s when I was in middle school. So that's why I say 80s and 90s. Um, they had this one. They had some heavy metal. They had one that was, they had a couple that were movie related. Like, um, I forget what they were. But I'll pop screenshots up so you can see them. Or you can just go check out their shop. But I thought this shirt was really cool. And it was my first TikTok purchase. Well, it wasn't my first purchase because of TikTok. It was my first purchase through TikTok shop. I'm a t-shirt girl, especially graphic tees and leggings. That's my thing. So um, I was really excited to get this one. All right, y'all. So now that the clock has had her moment, she always wants her time to shine and she had it. But <laughs> that wraps up this video. I hope you guys are as excited about the holiday season as I am. And originally I was thinking, I'm still enjoying my fall decor, but I think I'm ready to start decorating for Christmas. So the next time you see any of my spaces, they will probably have Christmas decor in them. And I'm okay with that because I'm, I'm just excited this year. Been in these stores and seeing all these beautiful ornaments and, you know, just everything is so inspiring and motivating and I'm just ready to decorate. I'm pretty sure most of you have already started decorating or at least, you know, buying decor or pulling out your decor. Um, as far as my decor, I don't think I'm going to be buying a lot of ornaments per se you know, for the main tree, maybe one or two here and there, but probably not many because my decor I had out last year was almost perfect and I loved it. So a lot of the things that I used last year, I'm going to use them again, probably just in a different way or in a different space. I loved my tree last year. I'm probably going to do the exact same thing with an addition of a couple of ornaments. I haven't decided yet if I was going to do all red gifts under the tree. I may switch that up. I may switch that up. You'll find out what I do or what I'm thinking about doing when we get to that stage. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go from here. I hope you enjoy coming along with me and seeing what these stores I went in today might have. Maybe you saw something that jumped out at you and you want to go buy it. Maybe you finally want to buy some of these real touch stems because when I tell you the quality is quality, they are worth the money. And even the A floral ones, don't tell them. But I think the A floral ones, even at their $28 a piece price, are worth it because they're stems that you can have for years and years and years and just use over and over in, you know, different size vases and vessels. You can bend the stem, you can straighten the stem back out the next year. You know, it's more like an investment piece. And that's why I say the A floral ones are worth it just as much as these. But if I can get my hands on the $9.99 ones first, then that's what I'm going to do. And for the last two years, that's what I've done. I get those first. If they sell out, then I go to A floral. I did that with my fall stems. Here in my fall decor, I have an A floral stem and then I have the dupe for the A floral stem. So, you know, it's all about your money, what you want to spend. But if you have the budget for A floral, totally worth the money. If you have the budget for the Kirkland ones, still worth the money. But if you're into the real touch thing, I know everybody is for the last couple of years. I say run, don't walk to Kirkland's. 
That way you can save yourself some money with them being $9.99 plus them having the random, you know, sales like today was 25% off. But anyway, y'all, I could talk forever. I hope you enjoyed this shop with me. I'll link as many things as I can down below. Um, my next video or next couple of videos will start decorating for Christmas. So 